let's do the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I'm in the color Light Warm 23. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. Oh my gosh, look at I have a little... <laughs> okay. I just have a primer on my face. That's it. I don't have a lotion or anything. Because I find that like when I put on my lotion, which is... Um, it's an oil. And it's very lightweight. I only use a little bit. But I find that it sometimes makes my foundations. It doesn't mix well with certain foundations and it makes them more oily than they would be. So I don't know. So I thought, okay, well maybe what I'll do is I will just do foundation and primer. I'm not the kind of girl that always needs a lotion um, in the winter. I mean, sometimes, yeah. But I just never have been like, I have to have a lotion on my face before I do foundation. The Morphe 2, like I said, I liked it. I really liked it. I did, but I felt like it went a little bit oily on me. Now, I don't know if that's par for the course, if that's abnormal. I'm going to put a little bit more over here to build this up. So I use like probably about two pumps. No, pump and a half. Um, yeah, so I kind of felt like I'm like, ooh, it's kind of going a little oily. I don't know. That was just me. It's the Morphe 2. We'll see. I'm going to try and use it, like I said, without the oil underneath. And that might be a better indicator. Okay, so this is like the third Your Skin But Better foundation that we've tried. So I've been using um, powder collagen, and I've been using it now for about two months. And you can see I have a lot of baby hairs happening. I ordered a liquid collagen off Amazon because I heard those are better for absorption than a powder. So we'll see if I like that more. But just FYI, I feel like it's working. Just noticed it now. Okay. So this is your skin, but better. It's a water light, medium coverage, natural radiant foundation. First of all, love the natural radiant part. Absolutely, 100% agree with that. Like, totally radiant. Kind of reminds me of that um, Age Perfect concealer I've been using that I'm using. Um, okay. um, but yeah, I, whoa, I love this foundation, actually. Right off the bat, this is going to be my favorite, I'm telling you. I don't know long term, but so far in these no makeup makeup looks. Wow. Okay. This is beautiful, you guys. Look at this. Sorry, I know I'm sitting sideways. It's because I have a mirror here and I don't have enough room to put everything in front of me. So it's like an awkward angle. So I apologize. I know that's probably a little annoying. Wow. Love it. Love it. This one looks, I mean, it is, it's radiant. It's, it's definitely a light to medium coverage, but it has a nice like glow to it, like iridescent. And you're not going to be able to see it, but it has like a gold reflect in it. I don't know if you can even see it. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so we're going to use one of these ColourPop eyeshadows. I just have on like a transition color and I'm going to take, because I just don't want to get my fingers all messy. Ooh. You almost lost words with this shit, huh? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to take just any brush here. Oh, is this going to be able to get on a brush? Oh, okay. What the hell is this stuff? You guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I don't know what's happening here. Do I have to use my fingers? Okay, I do. Here we go. Okay. What's happening? Great, this is going to be a mess. Okay, so like, there's a minute where it looks nice, but it's fleeting. Can we please look at this? What's happening? 
I just use too much as I go back in. So, oh, I'm gonna have to get a makeup wipe to wipe my hands. I think I just used too much. Because, I mean, it's pretty. It's it's really pretty. Like, I, I want to hate it, but I don't. You definitely have to use your fingers. If you have long nails, I don't know. I think you maybe, like, a beauty blender might be better. I'm just trying to even this one out. This one's kind of, I kind of want, I didn't know what I was doing, okay? So I got overzealous. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm Lisa Frank. Remember Lisa Frank? That's what it feels like. Hold on. I, I feel like it borderline, borderlines on kids makeup. I'm not happy. It's not ugly, but it is like super high maintenance. You know, I was looking for an eyeshadow that was kind of like this, but it's... Like, it's, it's, it is pretty. I mean, it is pretty. I just, I kind of feel like I'm a five-year-old getting into someone's makeup and putting, like, pink glitter on my eyes. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in all that nonsense. So, also, I burned my tongue. And it hurts. It hurts bad. All right, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back. Because what else am I trying with you? Oh, a lip gloss. Okay, so this is this is the finished look. Um, let's talk for a minute. I use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Stone, just on its own on my lips. Um, I like it. It's it's very like your lips, but better. It looks like it's going to be coming out of the tube and in the tube a lot darker and pigmented than it is. So I kind of like it. I didn't put anything underneath it. Nothing. Um... Makes my lips definitely seem like a little bit more voluptuous. It's got hyaluronic acid, so I think it's supposed to even out the fine lines in your lips and make them give the appearance of bigger. So I like it. I think it's really easy, you know, um, but a lot lighter than I thought, which I don't hate. Uh, these these color pop things, I, I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty on. I don't hate it. It You know, it's funny because I've been for so long looking for like a shiny, glimmery, but not glittery type of iridescent eye product to use. Um, but this just, it just, it, it's like Lisa Frank. Look at this. Like, it's almost a little too little girl. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe it's just the color. Maybe I'll like the other colors. So we'll try it. We'll see how it wears. And it's just, it's very pink. There were only three colors. The other color was white, which I'm glad I didn't get because... I don't know how that would fare. I love the way this foundation looks. Here's the deal though. It is sheer. You can see all of my imperfections. It's very interesting because these are all very, very, very different foundations that are all kind of claiming to do the same thing. Okay, so I have the Ordinary Serum, the It Cosmetics, and the Morphe 2, hint, hint, skin tint. Um, this It Cosmetics leans a little bit towards the Morphe 2, in my opinion. These two are the closest together. Um, this one is just beautiful, like a radiant look. Like it just, it looks like you're glowing. But the coverage is bare minimum. Like this is light. I don't know how they can say it's light medium. I usually can stretch things light medium and um, it is buildable, but again, it, it, it's meant to be see-through. So... If you want to go out and look like you're not wearing any makeup, I think this is perfect. I really do. This is probably my favorite one because of the way it makes my skin look. It's it's a distant second to this guy here. Um, this guy gives me more coverage, the Ordinary Colors Serum Foundation. Um, and it's, it's a little bit warmer, like more my skin tone. 
Uh, so I really do like this one, like decent second. This one just blows me out of the water with the way it looks. But I'm going to be honest, if you're not used to seeing your skin peek through, if you don't want that, this is not going to be the one for you. I would say serum foundation is going to give you the most coverage. But I have to, you know, remind you we're going for like the no makeup makeup look, right? So it's almost like we're going just like concealer and doing our eyes. That's kind of what these go with. The only reason I'm hesitant to talk about this one and my feelings on it are I used an oil underneath just as my moisturizer and I felt like this one was oily on me all day. So I don't know if it was the oil or it was just the formulation that I just didn't love. So we'll see. It did look nice. It did look nice. It had decent coverage. This would be light to medium. This would be light to medium. Um, I think this one is a lot more buildable than this. Uh, but this, this, you guys, I mean, this is blowing me out of the water with how it looks. But again, I can still see all my imperfections, you know, um, scarring, melasma, you know, uh, but I don't hate it. I even wonder if I went like one shade darker, would I like it even more? Especially for those summer months. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if you have perfect glowing skin, probably gonna love this. I don't know about aging and maturing skin. There's also some weirdness going on over here. When I was using my bronzer, it didn't show up on this side. I'm wondering if it's the bronzer because the bronzer is like 100 years old. Fine, I said it. I don't know, um, but it didn't happen over here. So it could just have been something funky going on. Um, I, I imagine this is gonna be touchy with lotions and products underneath um, because it is so light uh, coverage. But it improves bare skin in two weeks. I mean, I'm interested in that. This is the only one, while well, the Ordinary Serum did have claims too though that this was, it was actually going to work with your skin and improve its look and texture. Uh, so this is something I would have to use on the regular to see if it does, um, but that is a big claim. This is light warm, that's a big claim. But I'm down for it. It cosmetics usually delivers. Uh, they're pretty good on their claim of adding skincare into their products, so we'll see. Also, I attempted the DIY brow again. I'm really trying with that Tarte product. I don't see anything. I like have to do it on my hand to be like, is this even showing up? And it's there. I, I just I'm like, why, why, why does it not look like it's doing anything to my brows? Thank God for that Milani Clear Brow Gel. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so those are my feelings. I would pass on that eyeshadow by ColourPop. This is the thing. People, like, rave about their stuff, and I do like it, and some of the stuff is fantastic, but then it's like when it's a letdown, it is a true letdown. I mean, it's, it's not that it's not pretty. I just... It's going to be one of those love-hate products. I'll tell you that right now, and you have to use your fingers, which is annoying. Um... Love the gloss though, liking it even more, very natural. Okay, so that's all I have to say. I'm gonna see how this wears throughout the day. Um, like this side of my face looks bomb. But you know, this side of my face is like kind of the perfect side. So, you know, I don't know. But I don't mind it, like I, I truly love this. I don't know. There's something about looking like you and embracing all those little imperfections that we're trying to do in social media and everything else, not the full on cake bake. So these are worth checking out. I would say it goes it cosmetics, then the ordinary and look at, I mean, the price difference is huge. So if you're looking to get cheaper, this is like $7 guys. And then the jury's still out on this. I gotta, uh, I gotta play with this one a little bit more just because, I don't know. So the last thing I have to try out for you guys is gonna be the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. So we'll try that out and that'll be it. And we'll kind of make our, go on that, make our determination there. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I'm so hesitant to tell you what my favorite is. As of right now, I would say it's the It Cosmetics followed by the serum. The ordinary um 
that the powder could blow me out of the water even more. I don't know. This has kind of been fun, uh, the no makeup makeup look. So if you guys have any comments or products you're trying, um, please like this video. Please subscribe. You want to come back and see my last one with CoverGirl. And then I'll wear these and kind of give you guys my fi final thoughts. Thanks for sticking with me. September is, was just a tough month um, to get on here, but I hope to be doing videos more on the regular. Um, I love that you guys are communicating with me and telling me what's going on. I love to hear from you. Obviously, you know that. Um, yeah, and then I tried this the other day. I'll, I'll put this on in a video for you guys. The Color Pop Luxe Gloss. I actually really, really liked it. It was really comfortable to wear and it looked really good. They just have like, they look so dark in the tube and I'm used to it being that exact color and they just come out so much lighter, these ones recently. So, but I, I don't mind it. It's like very natural. Like natural beauties, which we all are. So I'm embracing that. Yes, I'm gonna wear this today. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.